What's up guys, it's Crash, and I hope those of you who have played the beta are all having a good time. I streamed it this morning, it was quite a bit of fun. Uh, there's definitely a lot of work yet to be done on that game, but uh, we'll talk about that on a later video today. We're getting right into it with Battlefield University. We're gonna look at the ARs. Now I had to make this video kind of fast because the beta is only four days long and I wanted uh, you guys to get some good out of it. So uh, what we're gonna do is I made a really cool graph uh, the best I could with hand tested numbers on time to kill, taking into account damage and things like that. And then more importantly, we're uh, after that, we're gonna take a look at some attachments and how they affect certain things. And we're gonna give you guys the best and most efficient loadouts to start with. Again, I encourage you guys to try everything. There's only two assault rifles and not that many attachments. So go ahead and try everything. Uh, but if you wanna get in there, if you don't have a lot of time, I'm gonna give you guys the best attachments to uh, attach. All right, so let's get right into it. Basically, how I did this was, um, if you've seen my other time to kill analysis videos, I had to do it the same way. Uh, there was no way for me to pull weapon stats and everything, so these are hand-tested numbers. What I had to do was shoot enemies, uh, take note of the distance from me and their health bar. I measured it in pixels how far it went down when they were shot. Um, I know if you guys have played the beta, hit detection is a little iffy. Um, so there's a lot of things that could could in, induce some errors into this graph, but what I think it does is it shows you kind of how DICE is uh, balancing these guns, and I think it's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and throw that graph up. Basically what this shows is time to kill over distance, so the lower the better. Um, if we look at the two ARs, uh, we're gonna look at them in just a little bit on another graphic. They are very similar in a lot of aspects and kind of how they balanced it is, they gave uh, the AK, which is the lower one, a little bit more range, but they also nerfed it just a little bit with more recoil. So the M5 is definitely easier to use, but it dumps off a little bit at range, but with that less recoil, you're able to get more shots on target. So I don't wanna dig into this graph a whole lot. I would take a look more at the trend rather than the actual individual values because uh, there's gonna be a few meters uh, here or there where it was a little bit muddy muddy with the hit detection and how things were registering and things like that. But um, definitely when the game launches, we're gonna get some more hard defined stats. I'll be able to hop in the portal and test this stuff explicitly much, much better uh, than the limited function functionality of the beta so now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a comparison graph so this shows the two assault rifles it shows their ads speed their rounds per minute and shots to kill and you can see right away rounds per minute came out to be exactly the same it was a tiny tiny bit different uh but depending on how the frames rounded how they ended up in the recording it was pretty much identical uh ads was a bit slower with the ak-24 uh but it kept that range and again it's yeah like i said i found a, a six shot to kill where it, uh the m5 i actually found a seven shot kill uh in one of the kills that i had so then i took a look at the recoil you can see that the m5 is much less recoil these are taken from the same distance uh the lines on the building kind of help you compare them um the m5 had a lot less recoil it was also a lot more predictable the ak uh got quite a bit more uh more random so i'm not sure how if that's true random recoil or not i'd have to do a lot more tests to see uh how predictable uh it actually is but the bottom line here is the m5 is a little bit easier to use the ak if you can master that recoil will give you just a little bit more range you might win a couple extra gunfights so basically i think the easiest way to go over the next little bit and the plus system is just to hop in the game and uh show you guys a few things because some of the attachments might not do what you think they do so let's go ahead and take a look in game all right guys so let's go ahead and look at the attachments on the m5a3 and some of the things that they do so um basically with sites so how they work is this one honestly does not really affect your ads or recoil or anything it just actually you know looks pretty nice now if you do step up to this hybrid site understand that this actually does increase your ads speed um, this map, so this is going to come down essentially to your play style. Um, on this big open map, people are generally farther away. If you play a little bit more tactically, methodically across the map, then I would probably recommend putting this 3X on there, just understanding that you're going to need to have a little bit more time to ADS. Go ahead and start hip firing if you do uh, come up against somebody up close. Uh, 
but if you're gonna be a little bit more aggressive get in the buildings play infantry inf infantry to infantry combat up close uh and mix it up a lot i would recommend going with the going with the uh red dot here it gets you a little bit more uh ads speed um one thing i also found out about the grips is the cobra grip actually does not really help with recoil at all the recoil is essentially the same uh which is not what you would think with a vertical grip but what it actually does is it tightens your hip fire spread just a little bit not very much so if you look at the crosshairs with it and then you take it off they're a little bit wider that way so it actually just helps um with your uh, hip fire it doesn't affect ads very much at all i couldn't tell if it was frame rounding or not it might increase it by just a minute amount but it's definitely worth having on there especially if you're gonna run that hybrid scope and you might need to hip fire a little bit more often definitely worth putting that vert foregrip on there and then as far as the barrels go this gun has almost no recoil the recoil is is very small it's very predictable and the uh the longer barrel gives you a little bit more range i was not able to statistically hand calculate that as i said the methods of getting the damage values for these guns was rough in the beta with the hit registration and how the hud uh looks and works and registers the shots and everything like that so and i'm guessing it's a small amount that it extends that range but it doesn't affect it it doesn't seem to affect ads very much uh when testing and also uh the recoil it might help the recoil a tiny bit um but not really much of a difference so if we go ahead and put a mag down range with that and then we switch to the compensator uh which is uh supposed to give you the muzzle brake which is supposed to give you vertical recoil control it really doesn't do a whole lot so I would almost rather have that little bit of range. That is not, that is an incredibly easy amount of re recoil to control. So I would definitely be running uh, the extended barrel on this build. And then um, as far as the ammo, these also, I wasn't able to get damage ranges on um, in my time to kill graph. That's with the standard ammo. Um, so we'll have to have a little bit more time with these. Again, when we revisit the guns on launch, things will be a lot uh more clear and concise and we're able to get hard numbers we'll be able to hop in portal and custom lobbies and test these things for sure and get some hard fast numbers uh this is just kind of put together to help you guys uh pick which uh attachments to use real quick get going in the beta because there's not much time in the beta so um these will have to take a little bit more uh looking at this gives you a few more rounds uh but essentially i think they do a little bit less damage the recoil is the same um so i don't see folks using this much honestly dropping down even with the extra uh the extra damage that the uh the large rounds are supposed to do um dropping that magazine down to 2021 20, is just when you have 128 players uh losing that many rounds is just not really worth it so um in the limited time that i had i had the best luck uh, playing with just the standard mag so um, if I was gonna run and gun I would honestly you know set it up like this and if I was gonna play a little bit slower at range I would set it up like this and that's that's how I would run uh, the m5 all right so if we look at the ak-24 it's it's just as straightforward as the m5 um, you can definitely see this weapon overall has a decent bit more recoil than the uh, than the m5 but it's still pretty usable and you have a little bit extra range so um i would definitely recommend giving these both a try but when you do the sights are very similar um if you want to use the reflex i would use this if you were going to play a little bit more aggressive up close it does not affect the ads very much at all but if you get into these larger like the 3x and also into the hybrid it definitely affects the ads speed so just take that into account when you're determining how you want to play if you want to play at range or if you want to get a little bit closer up um, there's nothing we can do with the barrel in this build again that cobra grip brings down our ads with a negligible or yeah our hip fire spread with a negligible effect on the ads so that's definitely worth throwing on there and then um, with the large rounds again i wasn't able to test these um and just dropping down to that 21 rounds just doesn't feel good when you're taking on multiple enemies so um i've been running it getting along all right with just using the uh the standard rounds but 
um that's essentially how i would set it up guys uh you know these videos right now are pretty simple uh just getting uh through some of the beta stuff to help you guys get started right away if you don't have a ton of time with it uh look for more content a lot more in depth when the actual game releases and we're able to test this stuff further um that's kind of the plan but uh, i wanted to get you guys up and running with uh, some ideas on where to go with your attachments that's all i had for today i'm going to try to uh i'm actually gonna go get some sleep and then uh then we're gonna try to look at some uh smgs later on today and then probably the dmr and the sniper rifle uh they're very interesting weapons as well and we'll probably be streaming a little bit of the beta on twitch later on today and this evening so hope you guys are enjoying it and i really hope this helps out and we will definitely see you guys on the next one thanks so much